Hi folks, and welcome back for more Let's Play the Pandora Directive. And my voice is already going froggy. Excuse me. A little better. Not much, but a little. Um, if you recall, we had just managed to find our way onto the Roswell base, and gone back to warn Archie Ellis that he may need to get out of town. And then, we came across this little beauty. 5142931. We don't know what that means yet, but I'm sure it's something important. I mean, they went to the trouble to hole punch the thing to try to hide it. But let's keep looking around, shall we? There are other things inside this military base, like this big emergency bunker. Well, there must be some trick to getting this door open. I'll just have to find out what it is. Well, that doesn't tell me too much. Good thing the sign is here, or I wouldn't know what this door is for. <laughs> Calendar's 20 years old. So it's been at least 20 years since anybody's been here. Let's start with these foot lockers. Locker doors are in good shape. What's this? How nice. I can always use an extra key. So we found a key. Looks like the same locker I used at Sternwood Junior High. Hmm. And of course, we want to look at these. Nothing to find here. Hmm, nothing, huh? What about over here? Phone's probably no longer hooked up to people in this galaxy. <laughs> Halogen lamps busted. Let's see if there's anything interesting in these drawers. It's kind of hard to see a little bit if you're back there, but if you're over here, it's pretty clear and plain. I've seen these things before, in war movies. What'd they call it? Uh, walkie-talkie. Yeah, we've apparently eliminated the walkie-talkie, but fax machines are still in use. Go figure. Let's see if there's anything... Nothing to find here. Okay, so nothing there. Oh, it's an emergency procedures handbook. This may shed some light on something. Nightstand looks like high quality plywood construction. Ah, uh, cheap plywood. Well, 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 what have we got here? A box of matches. Matches are always useful. The drawer still looks like The drawer still looks like it slides in. But I don't think yeah, there it is. And what's this little item here? Once I'm done gathering everything, I'll do a mass examination. Nice bed. Does look like a prison, doesn't it? When are people going to learn that if you want to hide something, don't hide it under a mattress? You'd think you'd learn that after, you know... Well, never mind. Nice bed. This whole surrounding area has become a desolate no man's land since the war. Yep. We may be at Roswell and it may have been top secret once, but even though it's hard to find, there's still nothing here. Really. Well, nothing we, nothing most people would care about, but let's look at what we've picked up so far. An interesting little padlock key there. The walkie-talkie that opens to reveal batteries. We can look at the batteries. It's hard to believe this battery still has juice in it. Man, they don't make things like they used to. Question is, how much life has this thing got left in it? Probably not much. Yeah, some very sturdy, um, very sturdy batteries there that have held their charge 20 years. Let's see what this says. The bunker shall remain at closed at all times unless there is a true emergency. In case of dangerous conditions at the base, the klaxon tower will sound the emergency warning and the bunker door will open. When the door is shut, the room will be sealed from all environmental and biological contaminants. So that's how you get that door open. You've got to create an emergency. Well, we'll see if we can manage that one. We 
hit some matches. And we have level 2 security clearance to the Roswell Air Force Base. Lieutenant Joe Bob Oversby. Hmm. I wonder who that was supposed to be. I mean, probably one of the programmers or developers or something like that, but kind of interesting. And lastly, we have this. The laser field diagram. And yes, you will hate the laser field if you play this game. Step one, we use the deactivator. Step two, cross the nine sectors shaded in red and four movements that are either horizontal, vertical, or diagonal. Step three, you cannot enter a sector that has been previously crossed. Step four, to accomplish this, place the deactivator controller in sector blah blah blah. Decode sequence alpha. <coughs> and you will see what this means in a second, but right now it doesn't mean anything. At least not until we manage to get into the... <coughs> Excuse me, good grief. <coughs> Doesn't mean anything yet, but it will in a second. But we gotta remember decode sequence alpha, and we gotta remember these instructions to operate this little panel here. Let's see, we want to go out. It's like a map of the surrounding area. Unfortunately, you can't really make it out too well, but that's just kind of a map of, you know, not the surrounding area being New Mexico. The back door is still on its hinges. That's a good sign for us. Well, let's take a look around, shall we? Can't really go out that way. It's a power switch. Must be important being this close to the door. That's the guard now. So yeah, the guardhouse had prison bunk beds. Let's see here, something. Shovel. I guess you never know. I might have to dig my way out. Hey, it's possible. And the shed door won't open. Then there's something on this box. It's a fuse. It's a good thing to have when you're working with explosives. Yeah, Tex is going to be working with explosives soon enough. Yeah, the box looks like it's empty. piece of electrical cable appears to be broken off. Hmm. This piece look This piece looks like it was once connected to the cable above it. Hmm. And what is that? Looks like a, a cable to the um alarms or at least loudspeakers up there. But that is the alarm tower. And those supply boxes look empty. But we can't move them. <coughs> Yeah, there's nothing else we really need here. At least not on the outside. This door has a padlock on it. And what was that we grabbed? Padlock key. Well, one of the things we grabbed. So let's open it. This flashlight looks like it could put out quite a beam of light. So we grab it. That's a toolbox. Still in good shape. Let's take a look at what we just grabbed. We got wire strippers. These wire strippers seem to be in pretty good shape. Something's wrong with this thing. There's no light coming out of it. Hmm. Fuses always come in handy when working with explosives. It allows me to keep my distance. And just a shovel. But... I know what's wrong with the flashlight. It doesn't have any power. Now let's take a look. <coughs> it's working now. Although you might want to turn that off. I mean, the batteries can't be that strong. And that's pretty much all we need from here. Uh huh. Well, I guess that just about says it all, doesn't it? <laughs> Laser field authorized personnel only. Now, we've got a access code. You want to guess what this access code is? It's from the hole punched paper. So, 
four, two, nine, three, one. Bada bing, the security code is now accepted. You'll notice that this doesn't change over into a new area, like you might think it might, but we've got beams. Not just any beams, deadly laser beams. That's got to be the entrance to the main Roswell facility. Okay, and just to cut down on some frustration later, I want to see if I can grab something. Can I get it? Aha! Electrical wire. That could come in handy. Now, just in case it decides to pull a fast one on me, because this is a little glitchy right here. I'm gonna have to get closer. Okay. Sometimes if you try to pick that up, it'll assume you want him to walk through these deadly laser beams. But no. Okay. Now, you remember the little scrap of paper that had the laser field on it? How it was code alpha? Give it a second. Come on. Come on. Let's cancel that. Now what we have to do is cross all the little areas. And I think I remember how to do this on the first try. I'm not completely sure. But just because I'm not completely sure I remember everything, I want to go to... Is that right? Okay. And we want to go over here. Then we want to go back here. And we want to go back here. And that crossed all the main areas of that little beam. <clears throat> and what that did is open up a few of these. Well, we don't want to go wild here. Now, the blue beams are safe to get through now that we've solved that little puzzle. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll bring it up again. I think I'll bring it up again. I can't bring it up again. It's gone. Darn it. No, we don't need it anymore, but if you remember that little grid that had the... You remember that piece of paper that had the alpha written on it and the little beams? Yeah. I didn't explain that very well. But now, the thing we have to do is get to the other side of this laser field crossing all the blue beams. The blue beams look pretty safe. I hope. And the red beams will still kill us. The blue beams look pretty safe. I hope. And I'm going to save my game, because touching red beam's death... But luckily, the way this plays out, I don't have to rush through these beams. See, technically there is a point in time you will have to rush through them, at least if you play the game a very certain way. But you don't want to unless you have to, right? Right, because that could be very annoying. Let's examine it. <clears throat> then, I'm going to save my game again. I don't need to increment. Yes. Now that I'm on the other side of this, I can resume. There's no visible way to open this from out here. Must have been operated by security personnel inside. I have to think about this. Unfortunately, there's nobody inside to operate it. So what we get to do is blow the door open. And I actually do not like traversing this laser field for any reason whatsoever. 
it's too easy to smack into a red laser. But that will be for next time. For now, I'm going to cut the video here, and when we come back, we will get into there fairly easily. So, take care, everyone. See you next time. Oh, are you kidding me? Come on. <laughs>